schooner on the sofa presents Bar Level Debate Show, Hot Topics and Banter. Bar Level. Okay, guys, this is the last segment of this, this week's show. And we're going to be talking about ex-players turned pundits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a list of idiots on one side and a list of decent people on the other side that do a decent job. That keep, they keep a balance. You know what I mean? They keep a balance and I respect that. And you can't always kiss Batty just because you used to play for the club. you gotta say, you got to say things, right? But the latter, like these men, these men here, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six. Six. So let's break it down. Share up. Start with share up. This is my waste crew. This is the waste list of ex players. Don't matter how great they were as players, because this is a whole different job. Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer don't like Arsenal. I'm just going to say it like that. I don't know why. I do know why. But it's not only him. I find it as football as a whole. There's like a little, little hate for Arsenal. It's the, it has to be the invincible thing. But before then, it wasn't that blatant. Jesus Christ, man. And now it's like anything. Like I said, it's taken Liverpool 30 years to maybe get their Premier League title. Maybe it's not that long for us. So why do we not shit on them? You know what I mean? You know, and it's not like these guys are Arsenal supporters. So it's like they, they feel let down. So they're talking fart like some of the fans do. No, it's not that. You men used to play against us. So you don't need to be hating, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you lost, sometimes you won. This is a whole new job that you're in. And I don't like the way that Alan Shearer talks about my team. Especially when it's especially when it's a win, there's almost nothing that they can say. They can't say nothing. It's when we're in a bad way that they like to pile on. It makes no sense. Alan ain't the only one. But Alan's a joke. Yeah, let me tick him off. He's a joke. Forget that dude. Right? Who else? Jamie Carragher has just got problems. He's just overscoused. He can't help himself. He thinks that he's being but unbiased, but he ain't. It's just too obvious, you know what I mean? And I don't want to throw it on his accent because that ain't fair, because that's just how a man talk. But it just comes out of you, bruv. You're just Liverpool. You shouldn't be a pundit. You're just Liverpool. Straight like that. I've got really nothing to say on him. He's just Liverpool. You get me? And to go with his buddy, go with his buddy, Gary Neville. Before he became a manager, yeah, was it Valencia? Before he became a manager, straight dickhead. Straight dickhead, straight only Man United. There's not a wrong with only being your team, but not when you're a pundit. You have to have, you have to be open. And if you're not open, you have to be blatantly biased. Like, say it. Say it. Don't try and hide behind your bullshit. After he got sacked, he started respecting managers more. And I, cool, life lesson in it. You went through it yourself and now you know it ain't a joke to You know that that feeling of getting booed, that feeling of talking about you're gonna lose your job, that ain't sweet, that ain't cool especially coming from your co-workers and all that so he no longer says that managers should be sacked for that I rate him but he's still Man United through and through he's still Man United you know what I mean you can hear it when he's even doing the Coventry over games it's like really really I ain't got no time for that so Gary's another dickhead Rio Rio Rio, Rio, Rio. I'm gonna put him in with another guy. So you got Rio and you got Kane. Keen. Sorry, not Kane. Keen. Dickheads, blood. Dickheads, blood. And I feel no way. Don't care. Hard man. Don't give a fuck. 
dickheads, blood. Rio, Man United through and through. Can't be impartial. Especially with Arsenal. Yeah? They like to bring up stuff. When they're talking about what they should do on the field, they forget that they used to play. They forget that we have the tapes. They forget that we can just save the file and put it up. Rio's been put on his ass by so many world-class people, it is ridiculous. I don't want to hear that. Roy Keane's been dealt with. I don't want to hear that. These people should not be talking the way that they're talking. It makes no sense. You understand? It makes no sense talking about why, why are you taking selfies? Why are you celebrating after a win? What? What? Just because you man got your ass kicked by Sir Alex, don't come bring that to anywhere else. You know what I mean? Without us, you wouldn't even have fucking floodlights, blood. You get me? Respect Arsenal around here. Respect Arsenal around here. We the class of the league. You get me? You men are all money. We the class. You can't buy that. We the class. You men are all money. You Man United, Chelsea, City, you lot are all money. Anyone can do all that with money. No disrespect to Sir Alex because he actually built his teams. You know what I mean? But come on. Look at Man United now. Still, when it comes to money, still up here. I ain't even gonna put my hand there. Still up here. When it comes to like global and all that. That's money. That's marketing. That ain't nothing to do with football. It's marketing. Get me? Rio. And both of these guys, I read both of their bios. Fucking idiots, man. Get me? Rio, RIP to the ex misses. RIP. Get me? Love to the babies. But you're still a dickhead, blood. You know what I mean? Keen, go walk your dogs, blood. I don't want to hear you anymore. You know what I mean? Go manage somewhere. Oh no, you keep getting sacked, bruv. You know what I mean? Rio, where your job at? Oh, pundit. Go, go run a club. Go help Man United out then, since you know stuff. You don't know nothing. That's why your boy is even slipping at Man United. You know what I mean? All you guys just slip. Big up Steve Bruce now, the only one to really be doing something. The rest of you just slip and fall. Tired of hearing them talk about my team. Tired. You know what I mean? Tired. And when they talk about it, it's not even just my team. When they talk about players, there's no need to bring those levels in here. You know, I've just got bad mindsets and I don't respect it. That's Rio and Keen out of here. Dickheads, bro. And the number one prime, the best waste man of them all when it comes to ex players turning into pundits. This prick here, this joker here, this one here that Sky try using for mental health week and all their mental health posts and months and whatever. Fuck this prick, bro. Get me? He forgets when he was going to his team what people were backing him who were supporting him. Gooners were supporting him, blood. Arsenal fans were backing him. We were supporting him when everyone else was taking a lovely piss out of him, bruv. You get me? Joke team. You get me? You're not on no Tony's level, bruv. You get me? He's weak. Waste, man. Do not like. I don't even want to say his name, but I have to. No, I don't have to. This prick. This prick here. Always got something to say. Always got something to say. Big up your baby, bruv. I remember. But we dashed you away to Middlesbrough. Dashed you, because you ain't nothing. Dashed you away to Middlesbrough. And then you came back, and we had to molly whop you, because you ain't nothing. Get me? Molly whopped you. And then when you had your interview afterwards, what happened? You there in your Middlesbrough uniform looking like a dick you just got beat and your son walks past wearing an Arsenal kit. Salute to that you right there. Don't care if he's changed his mind at that point right there in his life. Salute to that kid. Get me, he went having a bar. He's wearing his Arsenal shirt. I don't care where you, where you want to work now, Dad. Get me. And now you want to go on Sky and chat the utmost fuck. And there's loads of other clubs. Loads of other clubs that you could talk about to them. Exactly how you talk about us, you can talk about them, you can bring them down. But no, you want to pick them up. He bigs up clubs that have a history, that we don't have a history. He will big up Villa, 
big up Nottingham Forest. He'll big up Preston before he bigs up Arsenal. Talking about, oh, I don't know. Are you listening? I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. Shut your mouth, lad. Hate seeing him on the debate show. I only watch because of the other person who just happened to be on there. You're a mug. You are a mug. See you. You're a mug. Dickhead, lad. Scratch that. Wait, man, I like them names there. So, to keep the balance, let's talk about some pundits that used to be ex players that know how to talk, know how to bust to joke. You know what I mean? Have a little joke. You know what I mean? Have a little rivalry dick. It's cool. First on that list, Gary Lineker. Can't be upset with Gary. Can't be upset with Gary. And he used to play for Tottenham. But everyone knows he's a Leicester man. He used to play for Barca, but everyone knows he's a Leicester man. Get me, Walker's Chris. That's him. You know what I mean? Very good goal scorer. Poacher. Let's not even get into that. He's got the numbers. So when him, Shearer and Ian Wright having their little, their little striker debates, it's cool. He knows how to do it without sounding up his own ass. You know what I mean? Took over from Dez, match of the day. Who else could it have been? Who else could it have been? I remember when Dez stepped down, I was like, ah, oh, he's gonna ruin the program now. Well, well done. Salute to Gary, man. I like him. I think he's cool. I think he's cool. That's his thing. You know what I mean? That's his thing. Next, of course, of course I have to shout out my baby girl. That's right, I said it. It's Alex Scott. Ah, oh, look at her. There's another picture. There's another picture. There's another picture. One more. There's another picture. Jeez. It's my baby girl right here. Oh, one day I'm gonna have her on the show. Trust me. Ah, oh, Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Oh. But anyhow, Alex Scott. Former Arsenal player. Yeah. You know I mean? She knows how to be fair. She knows how to say how it is and what it is about Arsenal, what it is about any other player, defenders in her position, anything. She knows how to be fair. She knows how to say it like it is. Because saying it like it is is being fair. But overdoing it, the certain words, you get know I me? Mean? You don't say, ah. They're all pathetic. I won't have any of them in my team. These are all professionals, so what are you talking about? You chatting fart, bruv. What team have you got? You have to go back to Merson. What team have you got when you're talking bad about the team? I've got nothing to say about you. Big up Alex Scott, you know what I mean? Former player, now a um, pundit, host. Get me, a girl can shake two legs strictly. She should have won that, you know what I mean? Beautiful, beautiful. Can't say nothing bad about her. Next up, her partner on a show. Chris Kamara, this guy. You can't have a problem with him. He's just, he just has a lot of dad jokes. <laughs> Get me? There's no hate in his soul. He just, again, says it like it is. Say what you see and report and remember you used to be out there. That's the key thing. You knew right. Ian Wright. Now, Ian Wright is my favorite Arsenal player of all time. It's Ian, straight like that. But when it comes to punditry, I'd say, I'd say, Ian's both. Ian's a good balance. But only time I've ever disagreed with Ian is in writing, when I'm seeing stuff that like he gets quoted or stuff like that, when it's in the writing, I could go against him. When it's him, camera on him, being asked questions, Ian hardly goes, he hardly goes wrong. Hardly ever, ever, you know what I mean? He is on point, fair opinion, you know what I mean? Gives a little bit of support, a little bit of advice, bang, can't say nothing to that. It's when he gets a little excited and starts talking about man, Especially Arsenal, I do not like it. You are Arsenal. Don't worry that you played for West Ham, Burnley and Celtic. No, you are Arsenal. When they lay you down, 
You are Ian Wright, right, right, from Arsenal, not Palace, from Arsenal. Let's not mess, not Dulwich, from Arsenal. You understand? World Castle told you, bro. I ain't got nothing more to say about that. Here's what it is. Salute to Ian, my favourite Bruno. But, you know what I mean? Keep that balance nice and tight because you've got the balance. Just keep it there. You know what I mean? That's Ian. Okay, another one. Andy Townsend. Now, he could be shaky, but on the whole, he's a decent pundit. Thinks before he talks. You know what I mean? Always, almost always draws back when he's talking about in my day and when I was playing. He remembers that he used to play. You can't just shit on players. You can't do that. These are your man them. Just because you stop playing don't mean you ain't one of them. Because if you was to go into a management or anything, you would brag about what you've done on the field. And the people that you're bragging to only care about what you've done on the field. You sit in there and your thumb up your bum don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? But when he does, when he does get on, he's mostly like pitch side or if it's a certain network that has him on doing punditry in the studio. He's normally all right, he's normally fair, so Andy's on there, you know what I mean? Andy's on there. My last two, I'm gonna put together, because they're shaky, but I'm gonna put them on the good side, because they're more good than they are up their own bum. That's Steve McManaman and Martin Keown. Salute to Martin Keown. Guna, bro. Guna, Guna, Guna. But, his problem is, again, shitting on Arsenal defence or even the way that we play sometimes. Don't let me draw for the files because I can find games where you messed up. I can find games where you let man go past. You know what I mean? Where you let your guy run off, where you was marking far air. It ain't cool, is it? It ain't cool. So, easy on the judge, Steve McManaman. He's cool for like 98% and then he will say something slick or sideways and it's like really, really bro. Like, come on. But again, I like Steve McManaman, even though he was playing for Liverpool. But you know, he went to Real Madrid. But I, I don't even know, I don't even know. Should he be on my list? Yes, I'm sticking with Steve and Martin. They should be on the list as the good side, definitely. So that is my little good and bad, shall we say, good and bad ex-player pundits. Do you guys have any others that you can think about that can be added to either of my list? Right now, I only think of bad ones. Chris Sutton, Robbie Savage, Michael Owen. Michael Owens more, he's more just boring. So that's not really, that's like a personality thing. So that's up to BT for hiring him. Um, who else is there? Who else is, who else is good? Now that I've got three, and three there, and three good ones. Beyond Dublin? Yeah, I can't think of it. You guys give me a list, give me your top five, oh, I love you, I did seven. Give me your top seven good pundits, ex-players, and ex-player pundits. That would be just feeling the tour. Really feeling the tour. Oh, Charlie, Sky, Arsenal. Charlie is, is sometimes good, but is sometimes all right. Get me Tomo, get me you know, these guys honorary mention. They're like down the middle. These guys are all down there play fair down, down the middle. If they say something slick, they say something good. You know what I mean? They try and keep it there. But um, yeah, that's all I've got for this one, man. Thank you guys, appreciate your being here. Don't forget, hit that bell, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share. Don't forget to comment, man. I want to see what you guys are saying. Yeah? Stay blessed, man. Have a good one. Stay home. And all that stuff. Keep the family safe. Stay blessed. Bye, level. Thanks for watching Bar Level Debate Show. Please comment, like and share and we'll see you next week.